as we said, one major component of bipolar disorder is depression. A person needs to be clinically depressed for the most part, but they also need to experience mania. Now to help you remember the symptoms of the mania stage, there's a mnemonic device that you can use, and that's dig fast. First we have distractibility, then indiscretion, grandiosity, flight of ideas, activity increased, sleep, which during the mania stage you have a decreased need for, and talkativeness. There are different types of bipolar disorder, but we're only gonna discuss three here. Let's start with bipolar one and bipolar two. Bipolar one is more severe. That's because the person meets the clinical criteria for major depression and for mania for at least seven consecutive days. On the other hand, with bipolar two, the individual meets the criteria for major depression and the criteria for hypomania. Hypomania episodes are similar to the symptoms of mania. So think about that dig fast mnemonic device that we just spoke about. However, these episodes are much shorter in duration. They last for at least four consecutive days. So we see the difference between hypomania and mania as the distinction between someone having a more severe form of bipolar or less severe form. Nevertheless, whenever it's bipolar one or two, it's clear to see how it can be a difficult disorder to live with. In fact, it can be exhausting. However, there are treatments available, which we'll discuss in our next lesson. The third disorder we'll discuss is called cyclothymia. This is a milder but longer lasting form of bipolar disorder. This has both manic and depressive episodes, but it's less severe than bipolar two disorder because the manic and the depressive symptoms never reach the criteria of major depression or even hypomania.